So Eddie Hearn says that negotiations are underway for a Terence Crawford Kell Brook fight. He says he's had a couple of conversations with Bob Arum and Carl Moretti. And these are obviously representatives of top rank. Bob Arum is the head honcho there. And well, it says here top rank VP of operations, Carl Moretti. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Carl Moretti is VP of operations and Bob Arum obviously is the head honcho. So yeah, very interesting. Now I saw this, uh, video the other day of Kell Brook on the bag in the gym over there in Sheffield. And he looks in great shape. One of the issues that Kell Brook has had throughout most of his career is blowing up in weight and not staying in shape between fights. And he's obviously had a layoff uh, due to lockdown as most fighters have, but he hasn't allowed it to hinder his dieting and his training. And he still looks really, really, you know, uh, chiseled and what have you. So yeah, hopefully this fight can actually take place. Hopefully this has got legs. The fact that Eddie Hearn is speaking to uh, Bob Arum and having numerous conversations. I have to imagine they're going to be talking about money and how much or how little, should I say, Kell Brook is willing to accept. At this stage of Kell Brook's career, he really can't afford to be that fussy. I mean, I'm sure he's made good money, don't get me wrong, but if he wants an opportunity to fight for a world title again, he can't be getting all fussy about it. And let's be real, this is a great opportunity for Kell Brook. He's been talking about a rematch with Errol Spence. Well, this is the next best thing. You get to go in there with a guy who is undefeated and is basically seen as either the number one or the number two in the weight class by most fans. So for Kell Brook to go in there against Crawford and let's say he got the win, I'm not saying he will, but look, he's got a chance. I mean, Kell Brook's stock would absolutely skyrocket. He'd be in a tremendous position. Obviously, there'd have to be a rematch. I'm sure there'd be a, there's going to be a rematch clause if this fight takes place because it's a voluntary defense. But even still, that would be two good paydays and, and they're legacy fights. Let's be real. It's not even just about the money or just about the title and the opportunity right now. It's about legacy because Terence Crawford is going to go down as one of the greatest fighters of this era. He might go down as one of the greatest fighters of all time. So Kell Brook should be absolutely chomping at the bit to be able to get in the ring with a guy like that. Because yes, Kell Brook has fought a Hall of Famer in Golovkin, but that was, you know, several weight classes above his natural weight. Whereas this is right in the welterweight division, in his natural weight. And he's getting to fight another, you know, potentially getting to fight another uh, guy who could go down as a Hall of Famer. So... Yeah, hopefully Kell Brook doesn't start getting all bougie and <laughs> try to talk about the kind of money Keith Furman was talking. Keith, Keith Furman apparently sold about $10 million. I mean, <laughs> I don't know where he's going with that. Uh, Kell Brook, hopefully a lot more realistic. And then we can see the fight take place. I think it's an interesting style matchup. It's going to be interesting to see how Brook's strength is able to impact on Terence Crawford. Because yeah, Brook is a, a good technical fighter, but he is a bit upright. He is a bit stiff. Uh, Terence Crawford is a lot more fluid and, and versatile and whatnot. But he's never been in there in a professional fight with somebody as strong and powerful as Kell Brook, at least not to my recollection. I mean, I saw Errol Spence's trainer saying that this will be the first serious test or the first serious opponent that Terence Crawford has fought at 147. And you know what? I kind of agree with that. I think Kell Brook, judging on his last performance, has still got a decent amount left in the tank. I'm, I'm not saying he's going to go on for years and years, but he didn't look completely shot to me or anything like that in his last fight. Although that was at 154, the way he's been training, he should be able to make 147 without too much issue. So yeah, hopefully this one has legs. There's negotiations going on. If we get an announcement, I think that's a, a real plus for boxing because it's an interesting matchup. Terence Crawford will be the favorite and rightly so, but I reckon Kell Brook is going to provide some good work for Terence Crawford, if nothing else. And Kell Brook can shoot for greatness. So let me know what you guys think. I'm out.